So um, you're here today, obviously, against the NHS cuts, and what specifically brought you here? We're here against this government's appalling, shocking, disgusting, unbelievable cuts, not only in the NHS, but particularly at the moment in disability benefits. They're looking to cut 20% of claimants, 20%, not for any particular reason, not based on any real evidence. And all, all the evidence suggests in terms of fraud that there's 0.05%, half a percent of fraud, the lowest percentage in any benefit in the country. So it's just absolutely obscene. And one of the particular clauses that I wrote to Lord Freud about uh, to this week, the, the, the minister, um, was that um, they're putting a clause in which means in this welfare reform bill that if a disabled person in receipt of the new benefit, which is going to be called PIP, personal independence payment is abolishing DLA, disability living allowance, which is working reasonably well, it could be better, um, that they're going to stop it if you're in hospital. Your costs don't stop if you're in hospital. They're going to be uh, tricking loads of people off the benefit for no decent reason. If you cut benefits, if you get people uh, living independently rather than speaking of, and you stop their benefits, or you cut them back severely, those people won't have enough care. And those people will end up in hospital. Those people will end up costing the state more money. And they don't want to be. You know, you're going to have more people with anxiety, yeah. more people with depression, more suicide. It doesn't make any sense. So if Chris White was here today, what would you say to him? I'd say I'm disgusted with the um, entire government. And the idea that he thinks that he's representing my people, that he's representing me, is a nonsense. He's not representing us. He's not listening to us. He's not acting. And so far too many MPs are uh, concerned about their own careers in the future, unwilling to vote against the government. If you've got moral fibre, Chris White, you vote against this dreadful measure. We're very concerned, and I am as a trade unionist too, about the impact of people in work and the access to work scheme, which um, has had quite enough of good elements, sadly, have decided to reduce the wages of people you employ as support workers. Um, to the minimum wage. You want to be somebody to do all sorts of complicated tasks and not make a living, you want them to stay with you, you to spend quite a while training somebody up to your particular, your particular impairments and you want to be doing this work, nothing. So you can see we have got support in the community and anybody who really understands what the challenges are, they will face quite often the kind of work I And I just really want to say to any disabled people watching, you know, let's have unity, let's work together, fight together.